Okay, we got a Dell Inspiron 1525 here. Somebody spilled beer in it. Now, apparently this computer worked for about a month or so after it happened, and then it just started, you know, fritzing out. So we're going to take a look at the motherboard and see if we can bring this thing back to life. When somebody spills something in a laptop, I don't even try to power it on. The first thing I do is pull the AC adapter out, power down the laptop, pull out the battery. You don't want any charge in this thing, so get that battery out of there. That's the advice you should give somebody if they bring their computer in. Pull that battery out and say, you know, uh, don't even try powering this thing on. We're going to have to open it up, clean every part inside first, and then see what happens. Because you don't want to be responsible for frying the laptop. And um, so we're just going to start taking parts out now. Just take this cover off. This cover probably covers the CPU, RAM, and uh, wireless card. So let's get that off first. Okay, and there's usually a little slot there you put a finger or a screw in there, a screwdriver in there or something and pry it out. Oops, there we go. Okay, let's take a look just off the bat and see if we see any corrosion, which is going to be like white, um, like a white crustiness on the circuit boards anywhere. And it looks okay here, so let's just pour, pull, pull out the RAM. Let's take a look at it. Looks all right. Pull out the stick of RAM. Take a look at it. It looks okay. All right, we're here at the wireless card, so we might as well get that out. There's a wireless antenna. Let's just put that out of the way for now. There's one screw holding this wireless card in. Let's get that out. That felt a little sticky, but... Yeah, that felt a little sticky. There's a little bit of a residue there. I don't know if it's glue or if it's beer. I have a feeling we're going to see some stickiness in this baby. Alright, let's loosen up these wires. We're going to have to get these wires out of the picture. This is for WLAN, this is for WAN, which is like a mobile broadband cards, and this is your Bluetooth, the blue wire. It's nice they usually make the Bluetooth wires blue, just so you know. And we're going to have to get these out of the way, because when we go to pull the screen off, which we're going to have to do, these all feed up through the top of the screen because they're antenna. They need to get to the highest point. So let's just get them out of the way. When we get the screen off, we're going to have to push these through the hole right here in the laptop. And what else can we do while we're down here? Well, this is the CD drive. So let's just pull that out. That's one screw. I'm starting to smell beer as I take this thing apart. This feels kind of sticky. Yeah, that's kind of sticky. This is very unprofessional, but my cat just walked into the picture. Cody, get out of here. Get out. <laughs> Doesn't usually like the camera that much. Alright. This is the heatsink over the CPU and also looks like the video card. So we'll loosen up these four screws, five screws here, pull it up, and now we'll be able to pull the heatsink out. And there's CPU, and that is some other chip, probably the... That's uh, probably the graphics card, I'm not sure. Let's just put this off to the side. And we'll also take this opportunity, before we put it back in, to clean all the dust out of here. Okay. Let's get that processor out, too. Just put a, screw, a flathead screwdriver in, you twist the unlocking feature there, and now the processor will pop right out. Put it into a safe anti-static spot. And our goal now is to get under the keyboard and get the screen off. So Dells, in their usual fashion, have a little slot right here that you can put a screwdriver or something of the sort in and pry it up. And that's gonna allow us to pull this panel off, which I call the hinge cover plate, 
and this one will get access to the keyboard and the screen. Now it's giving me a little bit of a problem, so I'm thinking that these two screws are holding it in down here. So let's just pull that screw out, which also is labeled, so it's good. We could, we know where that screw goes. Sometimes, not on Dells normally, but a lot of computers, Toshiba's mainly have labels next to the screw holes so you know which screws to take out. And since we're down here, and I want to get the hinge cover plate off, let's take these two screws off because these might be holding it on too. You never know. We're going to have to take them out anyway at some point, so might as well do it now. And these two screws. I just took out those two screws. Sorry about that. Okay. Now we have those four screws out. There should be nothing holding this hinge cover plate on now, so let's try that again. Put a little pressure here. It comes out much easier, so yes. Those screws were holding it in. And you just got to jiggle this guy. It'll come out. Be careful. This has the new Dells have this new touch panel here, so there's going to be a ribbon cable attached to it. And we can pull that cable out. I'll put that back in for now. I have a feeling it might be easier to detach it from the motherboard than there. That looks like it's pretty securely on there. So let's get onto the keyboard and see if we can get that ribbon cable off. There's two screws holding the keyboard on. Okay. Now you have access to the keyboard on a Dell. You just pop that up. That comes right out. And yes, it's much easier to get this one out than the other one. The other one was kind of glued in there or stuck in there with some tape. So let's just push each side of that connector up and pull that ribbon cable out. Now we can get this guy out of the way. And let's take a look at what we got here. Let's see if we see any major damage yet. I don't see anything yet. This computer is actually a little more complex than I thought. Look at all these wires. Oh man. Alright, well, now that we got the keyboard off, let's get the screen out of the picture. The screen looks like it's held on by these big guys here. So let's get those screws out of the way. You might have to hold the screen while you do this so it doesn't go flopping all over the place. Okay. And then. Here's these wires I was talking about that are feeding up through the screen. Covered by this thing here, which is... This may possibly be a webcam... Or another wire that goes to the top of the screen. But that should pull right out of that slot here. Okay, let's just kind of try to be gentle here. There we go. Let's feed that through. The speaker is also covering these wires, so let's get that speaker out of the way. Okay, now we can get access to these wires. This is the LCD ribbon. Just pops right up. Feed that through. That's feeling a little sticky. All right, now let's feed these wires through.
a lot of lanes of wires here. This is a newer type of Dell, so these Dells are definitely getting more complex as they go along here. Okay, now it looks like all the wires are exposed. We should be able to pop the screen off now. There might be some, some other screws holding it in. Check the back. No. Nope, it just had to be pulled off a little bit. Now that we got the screen out of the picture, let's get this other speaker off here. See, the problem is as these computers get more and more new and complex, they add more and more components, and they're getting more and more tighter spaces, so they're a little smaller. And it's held on by a piece of black tape here. Which is going into the motherboard through this connector here. It slides right out of there. And now speakers come off. You know, I suspect, you can't, I can't see any corrosion in these areas here, but I suspect under this metal plate we're going to see some white crusty corrosion. I'm just going to start loosening up some ribbon cables here, getting them out of the way. Okay, another ribbon cable here. That circuit board doesn't want to come out yet. I will leave it on there for now. Alright, let's plan our next point of attack here, our next move. We want to get to the motherboard, so... Got to get the top cover off of the bottom cover. So let's just start taking these two screws out here and see what happens. these ribbon cables unattached. This thing is much more complex than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Screws out. Let's see. This screw might give us a problem. That looks like most of the screws on the top layer here. Okay, let's flip it around. Take all the remaining screws out of the bottom part of the case now. This is the hard drive. You can see about a little hard drive symbol right there. It's going to pull right out when you take those two screws out. Checking to see if I have all the screws. 